Imagine working towards something your entire life, only to be told no. Well, let's see if Fitzgerald can come through here on St. Patrick's Day. Drives that one to left field. My name is Ryan Fitzgerald. I currently play in the Boston Red Sox organization. I played at a Division I college in the Big East. I was told that I was, I was a slap hitter, that I wasn't big enough, that I didn't want it bad enough while I was there. That's hit deep towards right center field. Drifting back on it. He's may at the wall. Gone! A cycle for Ryan Fitzgerald! There's a shot hit deep. Right field, going back at the track, at the wall, and that baby is gone! I never was the biggest guy, so people used to tell me that I couldn't hit for power, that I couldn't hit for home runs, but I wanted to prove them wrong because I knew I could, and I believed in myself. I didn't let anyone put ceilings on me, and that's something that people need to learn. Don't let other people put ceilings on you because you can do way more than you think you can, and you can do way more than what others think you can. I graduated college in 2016. I wasn't drafted. It was a dream of mine to play professional baseball for all my life and when I didn't get drafted it was devastating for me, especially when my parents watched the draft, you know, in 2016 and you know, I was actually, we were at home and I was about to head to the gym and both my parents walk up to me and start apologizing and, and they're crying because they feel like they let me down and, and you know, I got them both, both in my arms here and they, they both said, you know, we're so sorry, we know this was a dream of yours. And, it was tough for me to see that because I know they sacrificed so much for me to, to achieve the dream that I've always wanted, but I told them on that day that it wasn't over and I knew I could play. I, I told them that we were going to figure it out, that I was going to find a way to play professional baseball no matter what. After the draft came and went, I went and tried out for numerous independent ball teams, all of which turned me down. They all said, yeah, kid, you can play, but you don't have any pro experience, so we can't sign you. So again, I'm, I'm just continually working without knowing what's gonna happen, honestly. And I knew that I could compete at the highest level. Working without knowing what's gonna happen is a weird feeling. I had to be ready at any moment for a phone call or anything to possibly go play at, you know, on a moment's notice. So I was training every day with the full intention of getting a phone call that day, having to go drive somewhere, fly somewhere to play the next day. So it's really interesting kind of knowing and understanding yourself as a player and what I knew was going to happen inevitably if I kept working and kept going. So I finally got a chance with an independent ball team in the American Association, the Gary South Shore Railcats, and they signed me to a a spring training contract and at the end of spring training I get called into the manager's office and they, they told me that that I made the team and which is great but for me it almost sounded like I shouldn't have made the team and they proceeded to say yeah we were fully intending on cutting you at the end of spring training and that really hurt to hurt me because I was one of the best players there I was making all the plays I was hitting extremely well so I thought that it shouldn't have been more of like, well, you made the team just because you did well, but we were p fully intending on cutting you. That's like, to me, that was like, I was really upset about that. But I used that as a motivator to show them that I could play and prove them wrong as I've done in the past. First pitch for the former big leaguer, Tony Campana. Off the foot of Johnson, right to the shortstop, Fitzgerald, throw to first, in time, what a play! After playing one year of independent ball in 2017, the Red Sox picked me up in 2018, and that's a moment I'll never forget. Uh, you know, I'm so grateful to the Red Sox for giving me an opportunity to play and, and seeing the value in me. It's kind of crazy to see where I came from. There's only one other guy that's been undrafted that played independent ball and then made it to the show, and that guy's Daniel Nava. And I hope someday to be that second guy to do that. But to go from being undrafted to playing independent ball, 
to in 2019, this past year, I was Defensive Player of the Year for the entire Red Sox organization. It was really cool for me to see and kind of look back on, which I don't do enough of, you know, kind of being grateful for where, where I came from and, and all the work that I put in to get to where I'm at. Um, but to receive that award was something super special for me, not even so much to receive the award, but to have my parents on the field at Fenway, you know, and my brothers to, to see me get that award was the coolest thing for me. And again, to see them cry again, except tears of joy, it's like, it's something crazy to see, you know, again, see your parents go from something so low, you know, we were at, we were at rock bottom to, you know, a super high feeling, uh, receiving that award at Fenway is something I'll never forget. I'll leave you guys with this. You can't live with the what ifs. I knew when I didn't get drafted that if I didn't try to play, that I would live for the rest of my life with the what if. You know, every park that I drive by, every time I go to a baseball game, every time I see baseball on TV, I would constantly be thinking in my head, man, what if I pursued baseball? Man, what if I just kept trying? What if, what if an independent ball did sign me? So you guys need to keep going and keep trying and keep working regardless of what your situation is. Understanding that anything could happen and that someday you could make it to the show.